Hello everybody and welcome to my first SFML tutorial in C++. In this tutorial I'll show you how you can create a basic window with SFML. I do not have enough time to show you how to set up SFML, however I will link a video in the description as well as the download to SFML all in the description so you can watch how to set up yourself and then once you got it set up you can come back to this video. So how you set up or how you start with this is you want to first let's just pound include I miss oh my god include let's start off with IO stream because we are going to be using a little bit of that and then let's also include sfml slash graphics.hpp dot header plus plus I think that stands for it doesn't really matter and then once you got that included then we just wanted to create our main uh, int right here and then under our main thing we want to create a window so how we do that is we call sf render window and then let's just name this window and this takes a few parameters you can look through all the parameters it takes but the ones that we're going to be using is we're going to use sf video mode this is to set the uh, height and width so we'll make it how about 500 by 600 and then let's also set the name to sfml tutorial and then another thing we can do is we can set the style to it and we can actually set multiple different styles all at once so we'll call sf style and then we'll say a style to be title bar because that's a pretty cool style and then we can do a bit separator right there that looks like that and then we can call another style style and then we can call the close style just like that and then that will create our window object the next thing that we want to do is we just want to create a while loop and so this will be our main loop this will handle everything well I'll there's another loop that we have to do but I'll get to that in a minute so we are going to go ahead and say while window dot is open and then under here this is just going to do all the events for while the window is open however we have to create a separate loop for events inside of it so we also we have to create an event so we'll say sf event as our constructor and then we'll just call it an event and then we'll create another while loop and this will be our uh, event loop right here and we'll say while window dot pull event and then you want to pull the event that we just created so while it's pulling an event let's create a switch statement right here switch under event dot type and then under event dot type we'll go ahead and say case um what should we oh the first thing they have to do is case sf uh, events closed and then what you want to do under here is you want to just window dot close you just want to close the window if the user wants to close the window however we're also going to take in how about key input from the user so let's go ahead and say case sf events key pressed so under this thing we can actually create uh, another switch statement but I think that might get a little too confusing so let's make this an if statement so then under here we'll say if sf dot or keyboard um, let's do up I think or no if um, event dot key dot code is equal to that yeah, I gotta add that. I was I hadn't done it with an if statement before, but uh, yeah. So if event key dot code is equal to sf keyboard up, then we just want to std c out uh, key. Or I'll make this lowercase up, and then new line, and then we'll just do else if event dot key dot code is equal to sf keyboard down then we want to let's just copy this actually and we'll change this to down and we can also just copy this entire thing and then we'll change this from down to left left and is there is there a closing bracket for this 
there it is. If that it, and then change this right to right, just like that. And then we have to, oops, don't want to have unnecessary spaces there. And then we just want to close that off like that. What's this? Okay. So yeah, this should work. And actually, let's go back to find. We can. We have to display our window. So we'll say window dot display just like that and then if we go ahead and debug our program we get a window and as you can see it has the uh, the what I don't know what's it called uh, title bar and it just you can't resize it which I like to, uh, having you can't resize it I like that and then if we hit keys they are not going hold on a second oh the problem was I wasn't clicking on the thing so if you click on you have to make sure you click on that, then if you hit it and you just type in the random keys, then it goes ahead and it gets all those events. So yeah, that's basically how you can create a graphical window in C++ and you can get key events. And so with this information, you can pretty much create a game if you know the rest of like how to create objects and stuff. But I will actually get more in depth. I might make this a series. I might go more in depth on SFML and try to create a game, but I'm not that creative, so I'll have to come up with an idea. But uh, until then, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.